Some Christians that I know feel strongly that role-playing games, Dungeons and Dragons in particular, is demonic and should be avoided by Christians. Other Christians disagree, saying there is nothing wrong with the game and are in one or more groups that play these games regularly. Is Dungeons and Dragons safe to play as a Christian? What is your take on these kinds of games? Can you point me to any scriptures that might pertain to issues like this? Yes, I, uh, I, I want to just answer this question with a small antidote, and that is a story about my life because I can only testify to my life. I got the game Dungeons and Dragons from my Apple II computer. This is how old I am today. <laughs> Back in 1989, I, it was like a 10 floppy. Remember the 10, the five and a half inch floppy disk? It was like 25 disks and you had to load one after the other. And so I'm, I get it home. I unpack it. I'm a Christian. I'm raised in a very Christian church. Anyway, I load all the disks. Da, da, da. For some reason, the game won't load. And I returned it, got a new game, and put all the disks back. It won't load again. For, for some reason, no matter what I did, I could not load this game onto the computer. And I fully believe that God was involved there. <laughs> I do have my reservations about Dungeons & Dragons. I really do. Because you have even in the question, it's a role-playing game where you, I don't, I think, I'd have never played it. I think you become these things. There's a lot of satanic imagery. There's a lot of darkness imagery. And you've got to be careful. There's a line, I think, that cr get, gets crossed at some point. And every parent uh, watching me right now probably knows that you need to have a line at some point because your kid will come to you and say, can I have this app? And they'll show you some app. It's like a game. It's fun. It's cartoony. Yes. But then they come to you with another app. You're like, no. You have to have lines. I think that line... My personal opinion is that game does cross the line. A lot of shows cross the line. You've got to be careful about what you're intaking. What are you putting into your spirit? And the bottom line question for questionable things and activities is this. Does this draw me closer to Christ or closer to darkness? Does this draw me closer to Christ or closer to darkness? Now, fair enough to say that playing my favorite game, Clash of Clans, <laughs> does not <laughs> drive me closer to Christ. Um, I have had a chance to witness on the chat to my team and all that kind of stuff. You know, you know that's basically it. But that, you know, I'm not going to justify playing the game by that. However, there is, it's so cartoony. It's so non-spiritual. You know, it's harmless. So does it drive me closer to Christ? No, but it doesn't draw me closer to darkness, right? That's what you have to ask yourself about that question. And then it seems like you want to play it by your question because you said uh, that there's other Christians who play the game and they're already playing the game. They say there's nothing wrong with it. Well, of course they're going to say there's nothing wrong with it because they're playing the game. You have to make a decision that's right for you, not for them. Okay? Hope that helps. They hope, I hope that helps you. Okay?